Hey everyone, welcome. You know, I just posted a video saying that things were slowing down and, and we were probably not going to get any updates for a little while. But then, throughout the night, we had quite a few earthquakes in a different area than we have been seeing the past little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the map and see where they are and just go over what, what went down. This is going to be really quick, but I thought it was an important development to, to sort of get this out to all of you who are interested in what's going on. So you can see here, there's only one of these green stars, which signifies a magnitude over three. But then we have this new area here, right by the water, further to the west, that last night got a considerable amount of seismic activity. And let's take a look at the table really quick and just go down to magnitude and three and larger. You can see that throughout the night, at around five o'clock, there was a, a huge sort of cluster of earthquakes going through. If we take a look at Google Maps, we can see that this here is the area that we've been seeing most of the activity, but now it's over along the water here. And the blue, the blue lagoon, for all of those wondering, is kind of right in the center. So you can see the blue lagoon is right here. If we go back to where all of the clusters are and all the earthquakes, the Blue Lagoon is, is pretty much right here in the center between everything. Now, on the news, they were saying that there was, a, you know, around 150 earthquakes and eight of them were over three and two were around 3.7 in size. Now, it's also saying that it's not uncommon that when there's earthquakes in seismic activity for it to jump between the different volcanic areas but um, I mean they're still saying according to the scientists that even though the seismic activity has decreased in the recent days there is still a possibility of an eruption on the peninsula so this is that this whole area I think that they're saying that it's still going to be concentrated towards the area that that we were looking at in the last video but I mean you know it's it's very strange to me, I've, I've never sort of experienced all of this earthquake and seismic activity or even the threat of an eruption before in my life. So for the earthquakes to be concentrated in one area and then to jump between the volcanic systems, it's it's very interesting development. And I thought I'd want to share that with you again. If we look at Google Maps, most of the seismic activity has been concentrated in this area here. If we go to the satellite we can see here all of this sort of volcanic area here is where a lot of that seismic activity and the earthquakes are originating and the new ones are down here over by the water towards the west and of course if we look just up from that we have the Keplavik airport and also Grindavik is situated kind of in the middle of all this and of course everyone's favorite the blue lagoon is smack dab right in the middle so i thought i'd give a quick update let you all know the newest activity that's been going on and uh and we'll go from there last interesting thing to me before we go is more and more you can see the actual line going across my guess is where the fault line is and one other thing if we zoom in here the bridge between continents i don't know if You've heard of this, but it is a place, if we take a look at some of the images here, where they say it's the two tectonic plates, but it's basically the separation between the two plates that they've built a bridge and you can walk between. And that is where this seismic activity has occurred. So a quick update. Hope you enjoy it. And until next time, thanks for watching.